In this part of the use case, we will show how a disaster preparedness person for utility would use the Storm Tracker app to determine what areas are likely to be impacted by an incoming storm. This particular person happens to be responsible for Fort Pierce, Florida. This application is part of an engineered solution for situational awareness co-developed between Critigen and SAP NS2. So I'm going to pick Hurricane Sandy, since that's the storm I happen to be tracking. And in the demonstration here, we've preloaded the storm tracks. Uh, in production, it would be streamed in real time. I'm going to pick a time and date, which is likely to be the time and date when the storm is likely impacting the area. And here you can see the storm is impacting the state of Florida. And in particular, it's hitting Fort Pierce or St. Lucie County. And so what I can do now is I can bring up summary information, again, calculated on the fly in SAP HANA. And if I look at the company assets, I see that there are 454,000 assets in the state of Florida. Now, if I click on the state of Florida itself, a query is run in HANA across 40 million rows in less than three tenths of a second. So all of that spatial processing is being done on the HANA side. And I see here that there are five affected counties. And out of the affected counties, I see this little blue slice, 3,130 assets, which happen to be the assets in Fort Pierce in the neighborhood I'm interested in. Now, I can further drill down to the county and then to the zip code. And for some reason, I need to click on the county above it. I could zoom in, but I'll just simply click on this county and then click on the one that I want. So this is St. Lucie County, and there's Fort Pierce, and there are my 3,130 assets. So me as the disaster preparedness person, I would see that there is risk to Fort Pierce. So what I would want to do now is get somebody in the GIS department to create a map showing the possible high impact area and make that available via ArcGIS Online to the public, emergency responders, as well as utility field crews. So at this point, I would call the GIS department, 